and welcome back to another episode of Breaking Character. My name is Jordan Page Suddeth. I'm the show creator and host, and thank you so much for tuning in with us today. If you like what you see here today, please consider pressing the subscribe button and clicking the notification bell so you can be notified when we post, and you can follow us on Instagram at Breaking Character Show. I am so excited for today's guest because it is someone who I have known for a few years, and he never fails to put a smile on my face every single time I talk to him. Mark Collins is a boy who will never cease to smile. Based out of Lilburn, Georgia, Mark is a character and an aspiring successful actor. He started off acting in Maddie B's and the Hashack Sisters music videos to acting in unforgettable short films for the one and only Jordan Page's production company. <laughs> he had a recurring role on Kevin Probably Saves the World on ABC and will make an appearance on Star's unreleased TV series Black Mafia Family. Mark has his own dance called Hit the Mark, of which he is currently filming the music video for. He hits the mark all the time at Oglethorpe University, where he is attending with a full tuition theater scholarship. Mark Collins vows to always spread love, energy, positivity, and smiles wherever he goes. So without further ado, let's head to Zoom. And here I am with the amazingly talented Mark Collins. How are you doing today, Mark? What's going on? I am doing sensational. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Woohoo! <laughs> that is awesome. I am so thrilled to have you on the show. I, as I said before I clicked record, um, I feel like I have not seen your face or talked to you in so long. Um, so it is so good to get to sit down and talk to you and catch up with you. Um, so yeah, so we're, let's kick this off with two truths and a lie. So you're going to tell me two truths and a lie. I'm going to attempt to guess which one it is. And uh, let's see if I get it right. So whenever you're ready, go for it. All right, here we go. So my first one is I love roller coasters with a deep passion. Okay. My second one is that I have met Will Smith's cousin. Okay. Not okay. Will Smith, but his cousin. His cousin. Okay. My third one is that Chris Jackson, George Washington from the original cast of Hamilton has received a degree from my school. Oh, goodness. Okay. That last one involves history and I'm not very, well, not history, but research. Um, okay. Yeah. Mm, all right. Okay. I, you know, I am going to guess that the first one is the lie. The roller coaster. Yeah. No, that was the truth. Darn it. Uh, Cause I know some people, some people are the opposite and they're like, I do not like roller coasters with a passion. So which, yeah. which one's the lie then? I've met Will Smith's cousin. I have Darn it. That Smith. was my second guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I, for the record, I love roller coasters too. They're so fun. Yes. They're amazing. Um, all right. Well, moving into our first question. So could you tell us a little bit, how did you get into the industry? What led you to want to get into acting? Well, Jordan, it all started when I was 13. Uh, okay. I was in middle school and I was the stage manager for the production Beware to Jabberwock. And um, I was, I guess you could say I was double cast because I was the stage manager, but I was also the understudy for the, oh, wow. for the prince. Okay. So the week of the middle school production, the lead calls out sick and no. yeah. And I have to, um, I have to go on stage and perform. Wow. Yeah. And um, I, I didn't know the lines. I didn't know. I knew the blocking as a stage manager. I knew the blocking, but I didn't know the lines and I didn't really have the right character space. So I was like, I was scared. Mm -hmm. And the prince, he has a, a shield and a sword. So what I did, I put the script inside the shield. And when I went on stage, I was <laughs> reading the lines and the audience, they loved it. They were, they were laughing and they enjoyed it. And that's that's when I realized that I loved acting. That that was something that I would I would love to continue doing. What a cool story! Yeah. Also, very clever putting the script inside the shield. Uh, that's awesome. And oh my gosh, I love that. That is, and that's that must have been such a terrifying moment. Being like you, he's not what like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thirteen me was very very frightened. <laughs> I well, especially going from like stage manager, you know, you're off stage, you're kind of got everything right. backstage and then being like, no, now you're on stage. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, and you know, um, before I like I was very passionate about um, law and I was very passionate about the CIA okay. and I couldn't I couldn't do both. 
Jordan. So then when I found acting, it was like, wow, I could do both if I wanted to. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh, I love that. Gotta love those middle school productions. Those have yeah. a special place. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> at least for me, it's, you know, I just looked back at pictures from one of mine today and I was like, oh, wow. Oh, well, what wow. was your favorite one? What was your favorite one? Um, I think, oh, wow. Um, you know, we did. So we did a really interesting show and it was it was one I'd never heard of before. And it was called The Dream Thief. And I played this character called Chaos, which is exactly what it sounds like basically the uh, the whole storyline you think the dream thief is the main antagonist but it's not it's actually the dream thief is being controlled by chaos and that's when my character came in and so even though that was a really weird show I think that was one of my I think that was my favorite just because all of us every single rehearsal we'd be like what is this about like what <laughs> is happening and it was so it was so clearly like a very deep metaphor for something I don't even know what it was a deep metaphor for something because it was just it was very interesting so yeah I think that was my favorite just because we all bonded over the fact that we had no idea what was going on wow and, and to this day you still don't know or do you, do you no know I still that? have no idea um I mean I think maybe if I read the script again I'd be like oh I kind of see some ties here I think it has something to do maybe with a metaphor of growing up just in a oh. very interesting way um it it involves like sleep and dreams and then they go into this other world and they have there's a there's a character who's a platypus that becomes their friend wow it's a, there's a lot and so it, it reminds me of shark boy and lava girl it's kind of like that just when you're like i like it but what's happening yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's essentially that so we love middle school production so uh, your dance hit the mark. Um, it's awesome. I love it. Um, and I am so excited to hear that you're filming the music video for it. I'm thrilled. So what is the dance's origin story? Where did it come from? So that was um, high school freshman year. And I was doing a presentation for my class. And I was studying um, Charles Luciano. And his nickname is Lucky Luciano. Oh, wow. And he was he was a, he was lucky because he survived like these really traumatic experiences like oh, these wow. really yeah gruesome experiences and um when i made the dance i just i thought of like how charles would be moving um and like that that's why i i always emphasize you know the, the serious space with the dance and the the bending of the knees and it's mm -hmm. like um, because he was he was an italian uh he was an Italian mob gangster, so. You know. Oh, wow, yes. Yeah, yeah, so it was um, embodying that. And at first it was called Hit the Luciano because um, I just, I thought it was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, but then I just realized, I mean, people, they didn't really know who Luciano was and they knew who Mark was. So they were like, Mark, hit the mark again. Do that again. We need to see that again because... <laughs> It's, it's, a, it's a weird dance. It's a, it's a strange dance. <laughs> it is. I, okay, that's awesome. Though That is such a cool, like, and how people were like, no, do it again. And then just, yeah, change the name. And I, I, I mean, I think it is something just like you with sensational. Like for anyone who, is, who doesn't know, sensational is Mark's word. Like no one else uses sensational in the way Mark does. Period. Period. Um, so I feel like hit the mark is the same thing. Like it's just, it's yeah. like a trademark. Yeah. Um, I love that. So wild card question has nothing to do with anything. Okay. If you had to get up and sing karaoke, what song would you pick? Baby Come Back. Nice. Good choice. Good choice. <laughs> Oh, I love that. I have not, I, goodness, I see karaoke is like terrifying, but it's like liberating, I think at the same time. Yeah. Just, well, Jordan, you can sing, right? Like you can. I, I mean, I did used to sing. And now, I mean, I do, I don't sing much anymore, but I have gotten up and sung karaoke. But I found photos of myself and one of my friends from middle school and we had gotten up at this restaurant to do it. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I do that now, but I did it then. Yeah, well, that's that's way more than what I can say. I, I sing in the shower. I, you know, <laughs> but singing in the shower, everything sounds amazing in the shower. Like, awesome. it's just magical. Like, it just is. 
So, all right, so now we're moving on to our game memory association. And the way memory association works is I have a random word generator pulled up here on my phone with a lot of ads on it, because of course, um, and I am gonna generate a random word. And when I get to a good one, because some of them are terrible, um, we will both say the first memory that we're willing to share that comes to our head when we hear that word. So even if it ends up actually having nothing to do with the word, but whatever you think of first. So, all right, our word is, okay, this one is very broad, but you know, tired. The word is tired. Tired, okay. So um, tired, I was, staying up all night writing a seven page paper for my college class i was oh, procrastinating no. it was not good not good <laughs> do not procrastinate <laughs> oh wow that does not sound like a fun time i give you credit i think i would have crashed halfway through i would have been like nope this is not going well <laughs> yeah well jordan i need to be more like you because i know you're always like on time you're always planning ahead <laughs> i try to be and you know what's funny is i and I remember this clear as day. It was eighth grade. I don't know if it was before or after or whatever it was. And I remember sitting there thinking to myself going, you know, why do I procrastinate? And of course the other side of my brain wow. goes, I don't know, why do we procrastinate? And the other side goes, you know, let's stop doing that. And it was literally like a switch was flipped. And I don't think like, I, I remember wow. that feeling to this day and just being like, oh, okay. I was like, what happened? What just, what happened? Like, I'm not complaining. But it was very, it was very strange. Um, my memory with tired is that, you know, it actually reminds me, I was just watching, cause I'm cleaning out my old laptop of photos and videos. Cause I used to have it where my phone just copied everything over to it and I forgot all about it. So I'm, I'm organizing my photos in Google drive. And I came across these videos um, from when my family and I went on a cruise um, and I, <laughs> I like, I'm saying in the vlogs, like I was up till like one in the morning, just like walking around this cruise. I was like, how was I not exhausted? Like, how was I, wow. <laughs> I just, now I'm like, no, it's 10 30. I'm going, I have to sleep. I don't Stay have here. that. Energy. Stay here. I, so that's what that reminded me of is I'm watching these videos going, how was I not like, how was I awake? What in the, I mean, I guess the excitement of a cruise ship, maybe, I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> I couldn't do that now. There's, there's literally no way. Yeah. Um, all right. So could you tell us a little bit about your experience on ABC's Kevin probably saves the world. I loved being able to pull up on that show and being like, there's Mark. I know Mark, there's Mark. There he is. So what was your favorite part about being involved with that show? I would have to say me meeting the people there. Like I met so many great people and I mean, out, outside of that show, like any film project, just meeting the people has always been great. But on Kevin Probably Saves the World, um, I met Madison, I met Chloe, I met Aiden, and Jason Ritter, the voice of uh, Dipper on Gravity Falls. I think that was my favorite part. I just, I kept asking him to just do the voice and it was just his voice. So he would just talk. <laughs> I was like, that's amazing. <laughs> that's so cool. Like not even a character voice. It's just, no, this is, this is it. This is, this the is voice. it. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. I totally agree. Film sets, just meeting all different people is just, is, is something, you know, those connections are just so great. And you're all in it together. You're all like that family yeah. for that time being. It's, you know, anything that happens on the set happens to everyone. So everyone goes through it. Um, so could you give some advice to those that are watching? This could be career advice, life advice, whatever type of advice you would like to give. Um, well, it's the quote that I live by and it's do what you love and love what you do. So if there's a dream out there that you have, or there's a dream right here with you that you have, chase it and don't let anyone tell you not to, or don't let anyone determine it for you. You you have to seize the day. Ah, oh, love that. Mark speaking truth over here. <laughs> I love that quote. And it is so true. And I love that. I'm glad that's a great quote to live by. Um, so uh, you are seriously one of the most positive people I know. Like I literally can never, anytime I'm around you, I just smile. So I know, but you know, everyone has tough days. Everyone has bad days. And so I wanted to ask, you know, regarding your career or just in general, when you have a bad day, what keeps you going? Well, when I have, when I'm having a bad time, I like to remind myself that 
there's 24 hours in a day, you know, and you can't let 10 seconds, um, or even if it's a minute, you can't let a minute of your day ruin the rest of your day. But at, at the same time, um, when things do sit on me for a while, and I mean, that happens to everyone, it's good to have a reset. It's for me, it's um, just isolating and maybe watching something I like or making rolled ice cream. I love making rolled ice cream. And yeah, I, I, I love people. So it's, it's funny, but what makes me feel better um, or makes me feel at my best is when I'm talking to people. So with, with the pandemic, it was like really hard because I did have a lot of sad days. It was like a lot of days where it was just me um, at home with the computer and Zoom. <laughs> so, oh, Zoom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, but yeah, just fine. If you know what makes you happy, then you can, you can practice doing that um, in, in times of when you're feeling down. I think that's great. And I, and I, and I love that you, you know, cause I think sometimes you have like, like yourself, you see people that seem like they're always happy. They're always this. And it's important to recognize, like, ev as you said, everyone has those bad days, you know, not everyone is a ray of sunshine all the time and they shouldn't be because human emotions are real. And, you know, and so I love, I, I think that's so true. And I love your, you know, talking about how there's 24 hours in a day and you're right, you know, um, so I love that. Thank you for sharing that. Um, and lastly, where can people follow you and keep up with what you're doing? So you can follow me on Instagram. Uh, my name is Mark the Collins. It's Mark with a C. And you can follow me on TikTok. I'm, I'm pretty active on there, or I, I like to say I'm pretty active. Uh, and that one is Mark with a C4. Mark with okay. a C4. Four is my favorite number. Um, there's four letters in the name Mark and four is the only number that has the same amount of letters in it as this numerical value. So. Oh, that's cool. I never Did you know that Jordan? That. Wait, no, I never thought about that. Yeah. What? Also, yeah. I didn't know you were on TikTok. So catch me following you on there right after this. <laughs> it takes a long time to get a TikTok. I was like, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. And then finally I was like, ah, I'll get it. And now it's really fun. Yeah. Um, so yes, well, that will be in the description box below. So everyone go follow Mark on Instagram and on TikTok. And that is it. Thank you so, so much for being on the show. It was so good to get to talk to you. Yes, it was really good. Awesome. Well, I'm going to press stop on the recording. Stay sensational. Yes, stay sensational. Thank you all so much again for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when we post every Tuesday and Thursday. And you can follow us on Instagram at Breaking Character Show. If you yourself are a creative and you're interested in submitting to be on the show, please check out the link in the description box below. And you can also follow Mark or I on any of our social medias also linked below. Next week's guest is someone absolutely so impressive. She is, she's just phenomenal. Kaylee Johnson is an extremely talented young filmmaker that I am so honored to have on the show next week. Thank you all so much again for watching and we will see you next Tuesday.